Okay, if you knew anything about interior design, you would know that this lamp couldn't possibly look good in your house. You're probably right, but that's my mom's house, and I closed it down. I picked up the new lease on Patrick's old apartment. You know what? It's got a completely different vibe, and this lamp is going to fit perfectly there. Okay, well, I saw it first. Oh, come on, Lucky. I, I was across the street before. I could have beaten you over here, but I, I didn't want to jaywalk. And oh. you're a cop. You should appreciate that. Nice try, but possession is nine-tenths of the law. So. Okay, well, I live with Lulu. And if you let me, I mean us, have it, it'll be a constant reminder of what a great brother you are. You're going to have visitation rights. Poor choice of words. We will think of you every time we look at it. Oh, that's so sweet. But no, I saw it, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. That's a little obvious, don't you think? What is? Well, it's a lamp. Casting light into darkness. Kind of like your post-Elizabeth life. You see this lamp as a metaphor for starting over. No, I see it as a lamp, and it's going to go in my apartment, not yours. Oh, I really appreciate this, Christina. This isn't something I think I could do on my own. See, I've been feeling a little, uh... Don't make that a lot. Intimidated. Mm, don't be. See, the way I was raised, there was a lot of rules and expectations, uh, manners and etiquette, and there was a certain way I was supposed to act. You Sounds know? like you had no fun. No, no, I had fun. Fencing lessons, chess matches, come on. That's so sad. <laughs> I, I told you I need help. I don't see what I can do. Really? Well, I just, I don't know. I thought having some family around, someone, someone young and cool like yourself, take the pressure off me. Help Spencer and I, help us have a chance to interact with each other, you know? I think the word you're looking for is play. Play, yes, exactly. Why are you being so nice to me? I've messed up everything. Uh, well, in case you haven't heard, I've done a pretty good job of messing things up myself lately. I mean, sometimes I can't even get out of bed in the morning and face the world. But it's time to move forward. I have a son who needs me and a new baby on the way. And I could really use your help. I'll try. What is she doing here? The fact that I paid you rather handsomely to alter those results is a secret that you will take to your grave, do you understand? The... Now listen to me carefully. No one, no one can ever know the baby Elizabeth is carrying is really lucky. You will never get away with it. Think that you're gonna hang around poor Charles until you drag my husband into another of your ridiculous Spencer Cassidyne feuds. <laughs> How droll. Luke marries you in a drunken stupor and you somehow think that entitles you to pick up the mantle of family matriarch. Well, perhaps you should turn your attentions toward Lucky's ex-wife. If St. Elizabeth's sins had not been exposed, that little strumpet might have succeeded in passing off Nicholas's baby as Lucky's. Oh my God, you are so predictable. You'll stir up any friction to get Luke's attention. Nicholas requires the guiding influence of a strong woman, and his children will need the same. Well, mercifully, Spencer's mother is dead, but the mother of this new child... I, I don't need to let you know about Elizabeth's mental instability or her lack of moral fiber. And you would know moral fiber when you saw it, wouldn't you? You who are insanely immoral. Oh, maybe it's immorally insane? Which do you prefer? It has not been nice chatting with you. Don't you think for a minute that I don't know exactly how dangerous you are. Ah! <laughs> that makes me Luke's type, doesn't it? Now, all I have to do is look his way and Luke will forget that you exist and he will come running. Oh, my God. Keep your hands off my husband. I was able to make Luke stray from Laura. Now, what makes you think you have a chance of holding on? Good luck. 
Okay, do me a favor. Just save the pop psychology for Crimson's readers. Did I hit a little too close to home? Maybe. And maybe my life's on the proverbial trash heap, but I'll find my way. And you know what? I know your heart's in the right place, so... So I get okay. to keep the lamp. Lucky, I feel bad for you. Really, I do. Especially because I feel like part of this is my fault. And how is that? Well, if you hadn't cheated on Elizabeth with me... Look, just maybe everything that has happened wouldn't have happened. Like, you guys would still be together, and you and Elizabeth would still be married. The baby she's expecting would be yours and not Nicholas's. Or maybe Elizabeth and I just weren't meant to be together. Okay, look, here's what we're going to do. Why don't you help me drag this thing home, and if I can prove to you that there's a place for it, you have to give in and stop analyzing my personal life. And if it doesn't fit? You can have it. Deal. Okay, let's go. When this round of chemo is done, I'm headed to Naples. What's in Naples? Italian men. <laughs> I'll be sitting at one of those outdoor cafes, sipping my vino and staring at all the beautiful people as they pass by. <laughs> you know what they say. No, what? See Naples and die. I've always wanted to go to Italy. What's stopping you? I had planned on going there for my honeymoon, but plans fell through. <laughs> One thing about getting a terminal diagnosis, you sure plan differently. <laughs> Creeps you out, doesn't it? Am I dying? I, I'm sorry. Don't believe everything you read. I've got a lot more than three months of living to do. <laughs> I couldn't wait to jump my pony either. I thought it'd be so exciting, and it is, but you have to be ready. <laughs> I'm ready, and so is Nippet. <laughs> you know, Spencer, Nippet is, a, is an excellent pony, and you are an excellent rider, but you can't skip any steps, okay? I know, eyes up, heels down. It sounds boring, but you have to master every level. Sounds like good advice. Hey, Spence, why don't you, uh, <clears throat> why don't you take Christina out in the stables and introduce her to Nippet? Okay? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> So, does Spencer have a writing instructor, or do you do the honors? <laughs> no, no, I'm not ready to teach writing anytime soon. I can barely manage digging in the sandbox. Well, that's the sign of a good parent. You gotta get your hands dirty. Yeah. So what's next? What's next? I don't know. I was thinking maybe finger painting. <laughs> Spencer does have an artistic streak in him. I don't know how you did it. You helped my daughter find her smile. Uh oh Thank you. You're welcome. And I don't want to hear you ever say again that you are not good with kids. 